Most people hear dog sledding, they think Alaska, but Michigan is a great spot for, for sled dogs. Everybody's got a dog or seen a dog or knows dogs that at some point was bred for a specific purpose. How often do we really get to see a sheepdog work a herd? How often do we really get to see a border collie do its work? And how often do you really get to see a husky do its job? They're dogs just like any other dog. There's, yes, they're special, but they love to be loved. They love to get attention, except they run a thousand miles in 10 days. My name is Tasha Steelstra. I own, along with my husband, Nature's Kennel Sled Dogs in McMillan, Michigan. We own about 170 dogs. Uh, they are all Alaskan Huskies. In addition to doing dog sled tours, we teach people dog sledding, uh, how to drive a dog sled team. We do some day trips, overnight trips, and then we also have a racing team. Uh, so we race around the world. Um, we have an Iditarod racing team that goes to Alaska every year. There's races throughout Michigan. One of the largest races outside of Alaska is in Marquette, Michigan, the UP200. One thing that surprises people is the sport is silent. So once, in, you know, the dogs are getting hooked up and they're excited and they're going. Once you're out there, there's no noise but the little panting of breaths. It's so quiet, you know, and it's just something that you can totally let go and not feel like you have to be anywhere else. There is a, a vibrant dog sledding community in Michigan and in the Midwest. We can still have a little bit of connection with what life used to be like. I mean, even in Michigan, there are several areas that the mail and supplies were delivered by dog team. These are dogs from pups. They see what goes on in the yard. They see the excitement from their parents. They've been bred exactly to do this. They love what they do. Many people don't realize what great snow Michigan has. We thrive and rely on winter. It's a great time to be outside. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.